Hi guys, Mrs. Schmidt here, teaching from home and teaching my favorite GT kids. This week's challenge is to design your own artist crib. After watching the YouTube series that I've posted here on the S'more and on my YouTube channel called SFMOMA, that's short for San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, Artist Crib Series. I thought this was super interesting to see how artists work inside their studio and what it looks like. As you noticed, if you've watched the videos already, they are different, every single one. So this week's challenge is to design your own. It can be anything you want in your ideal world. In a perfect world, what would your art studio be? So I took this challenge myself and here is what my art studio would be. In my house, this is what it looks like. But I had to set up my very own art studio so I could teach you. It is not exactly what I would like if I could have it any way I wanted, but this is where I'm working now. I chose this lesson to introduce you to architecture. We are going to be an architect today. An architect designs houses or buildings, and we are going to draw a floor plan today of our art studio or crib. This is sometimes referred to as a blueprint. It is a bird's eye view of the building without a roof. It's also considered a perspective from the bird's eye looking down. So our floor plan is going to be a layout of our art studio. Now, when I say art studio, you don't necessarily have to be a painter or drawing to be an artist. People who create music is an art artist. People who use sound and all different kinds of mediums are artists. Even an architect is an artist. So we are going to be drawing a layout of our idea. Every architecture architect starts with a drawing and then later they will put it into their computer programs. That is a different lesson, however. Now I am going to give you a tour of my ideal art studio. What I would like if I could have it any way I want. I can let my imagination run wild. So first thing I did was I just found a piece of paper. It can be any kind of paper. And I drew my lines with a pencil to make my walls. I actually did use a ruler. Maybe I've shown you this ruler before. All this stuff you can get either online or an art studio, but it's clear so I can make pretty straight lines. But I just wanted to start with my walls. Then I just went in with my hand. I did not use a ruler at all. And I started with my desk over here. And you can see I came on top with colors for my different areas. And I'll talk more about that in a minute. So over here, I'm gonna pretend my finger is my entrance door. And I put it, uh, I marked everything so that way you can clearly see it. I've named my art studio Moonshine Art Studio. And I love using my gel pens. So uh, if you have pens or colored pencils laying around or even crayons, you can color code all your things. I'm like that, but you don't have to. But I wanted to show you that you can just draw right on top. I've made a lot of mistakes and I'll talk about that in a second. Moonshine Art Studio. So I'm just 
going right on top. My regular writing doesn't have to be perfect at all. We're just having fun and designing what we would love to see. Maybe I'll go ahead and I'm going to make my little sign. And so I'm going to let it dry because I want to talk to you about when I came on top with my pen and I tried to erase. You can see up here, I accidentally smeared it because I tried to erase the pencil lines. So the first thing I have to do after I've drawn it is let it dry and then I can erase the pencil lines. So here we go. Starting from the entrance door, I'm coming in. I, I see I'm going to have concrete floors. So I wrote that because I want to know what kind of floors I like. I like those shiny looking ones. Um, and they're easy to clean up when I'm when I make a mess. So over here, this is my drawing area, my mixed media area. I love in my art to make lots of different kinds of art mixing my media. Those are all my art materials. So I need a workspace and shelves and storage, desks. Uh, I have a cutting board here, a light table in case I need to trace things, chairs to sit down, a drafting table or an artist table. You can see here, I can now erase it. You can clearly see my words. And the drafting table is the one that kind of comes up and you can work at an angle. Here I have some more flat drawers for my uh, big artwork, just like we keep our portfolios in at school. I have nice big windows. Uh, that's one thing I love about my classroom at Harris is I have those big windows and lots of natural light. I also have a computer over in this area so that way I can use it to draw when I need to move it around. Then I, I like to have some books on hand too. So I'll have some shelves with books. I'm gonna come over here and um, this is my painting area. And I wrote it right here, paint area. And in my painting area, I wanna keep all my paints and materials, my brushes, and I definitely need a big sink. So that way I can wash out my things. I need an art table to put my things on that I'm going to actually paint or work out my ideas over here. I need a place for my canvases and any other big things that I need to uh, put in. And they're the vertical standing up shelves that you would just insert and put them in here to help them stand up. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna have uh, all this shelving space from paints and materials. Did I already talk about my desk? Over here, my regular desk, computer, desk chair, files, and any supplies I need. I also, over here, have my big sink, another big sink. I actually drew this first and then I thought, well, I better have a big sink over by my art painting area. So I put one there and I said, well, oh, I can have another one. Why not? This is uh, what I would like in my ideal world. I actually then thought, well, I probably need a bathroom. So I'll put a door here to a bathroom. Well, why not add a shower? Well, maybe I need a closet to keep some clothes in and my shoes. So maybe I could even add a bedroom on. Maybe this could be my house. And I could have a kitchen and a whole other house over here. Or it could be a totally separate area, a separate place that I would drive to every day. But it would be nice to wake up in the morning and just head on over, head, head over and go into my art studio. Then I thought, well, there's times when I just want to get away. So, and I need to relax, so I put a rug because I like rugs every now and then to sit down. Sometimes I like to sit on the floor and put things out, lay things out. So I have my couch and my side tables, a little 
a coffee table and well, let's add a TV in there, why not? Of course, lots of art on the walls and my idea wall could be over here maybe uh, or over here. I can put ideas all over the place. Why limit myself? But it is a, this is my artist crib and I hope to see your artist crib. Have fun guys and create, post lots of pictures and if you can, do a video tour just like I just did. Have a great day.